Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the bird's eye view, and I am the war duck. And as always, I am joined with the wonderful Mr. Crow. Hey, everybody. Good to see you. So we talk about this every so often because this guy can't seem to. <laughs> I love that. Welcome. <laughs> this guy can't. He just can't True. seem to fade off into the distance and just let himself like be forgotten about, you know? Like you mm -hmm. think most people would do. Um, but you know, we're Especially talking about event. Alec Baldwin and the explosive report by the FBI that concluded ten months later and about nine months and two weeks after we already showed how this is impossible, but they concluded that he must have pulled the trigger. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Hello. Yeah. Like, Duh. Really? Good job, FBI. Guns, guns don't <laughs> don't fire by themselves. Well, and especially as much as people want you to think that. Especially the gun that he was using. Oh, especially, yeah. I mean, that's the whole thing about it. Is is we we I mean we in the video that we did before we broke it down to the mechanics of the gun, how it works, mm -hmm. and and everything, and and um. Yeah. Ten months later, the FBI, you know, after all their great work and, and time, uh, concluded the same thing that we showed. Is that it's impossible for the gun to have gone off unless you pull the trigger. You Sorry. Somebody on the FBI then just got paid for a year to investigate for a year. Yeah. Which yeah. dollars hard at work. Yeah. So, you know, and, and you know, the... <laughs> So this was him right afterwards, you know, like, oh, yeah. he, you know. He was and so then he would give curb. these stupid interviews he did, that he, he would did. do. He gave that 60-minute interview. Wasn't it like uh, within a month or something after it happened? Yeah. And his lawyers and everybody was like, whoa, 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 don't, don't do that stuff. We haven't even cleared things yet. Yeah. And then, so here's another video in this article about Lie Brown has gunpowder and the dummy round has BB in it. And you should have been able to hear the BB. Not to mention mm -hmm. that you have to cock the gun to fire it. And it, the, yeah. But, you know, like, this is like the whole thing about this guy, right? And it says the walls are closing in on Alec Baldwin and his gun life falls apart. Well, that's the whole thing about this guy is he's anti-gun, didn't want yeah. the training, didn't need the training because he knows everything he needs to know about it. And then he, as the FBI finally concluded, pulled the trigger and killed this lady. I mean, I'm not saying that he did. He killed her on purpose. I'm thinking no. that he is just a jackass and pulled the trigger thinking not, well, not thinking, you know, not treating a gun like it should be treated. Yeah, exactly. And because, you know, the, the, the rule is you don't ever point the gun at anything you're not willing to shoot and you don't ever put your finger on the trigger unless you're going to shoot it. No. I don't know. Anyway, um, but I mean, that's the thing is this guy... Bought like a what, like a one point three million dollar uh, ranch right afterwards. Yeah, it was uh some kind of ranch in Virginia or something like that. Like I want to say within three months after it happened. Like this guy, he I don't know. Just Alec. Reading more on it, it just reminded me of some of the things that he did right after the incident. Where yeah, you know, because had the cause that was the thing. Interview. Anybody else would have had, you know, like, hey, stick around, don't go anywhere, right? Mm -hmm. But he takes off, goes to the Hamptons, goes to Vermont, yep. you know, he's gallivanting around, just uh, shopping at Ralph Lauren, and... and um, yeah, He was out in the public eye. Yeah, like, you know, setting than, up... More than you normal. Know, calling the paparazzi, which he hates, and assaults so they could get pictures of him inside the restaurant, you know, and... And, uh, yeah, like, well, in, go ahead. I, I was just going to say, and that was another thing, too, is, like, as I was reading this, I didn't realize that he kind of pushed off um, her husband and kid. Like, at first, remember how he's, like, they even showed pictures of him walking with uh, oh, yeah. her husband and son, and they were friends and all that. But after a while, he's like, 
it, like uh i think his name's michael hutchins or something like that he uh so. he reached out to him and he's all like whoa wait look my lo your lawyer told me to cease and desist to, like do not talk well, to you don't contact you well it was before and... that because he started blaming her it was her fault right remember she set it up she wanted him to point oh, it yeah. at her right she wanted him to, to do all this stuff and they were like whoa hold That's on right. and then and then he just started blaming everybody else like it was just yeah. anybody but me it's everybody else's fault but me and then he yeah, kept I was getting handed them. a blank weapon. I was, yeah, I remember that. I, I was handed, I wasn't told it was live. I was, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, he said, uh, and then, and then, like, he kept getting on social media, you know, and, like, yeah. talking about this stuff and, and, or how it's affecting my family and, dude, mm -hmm. like, just so tone deaf because, you know, okay, here it is, 1.7 million dollar historic vermont farmhouse yeah <laughs> as as two firearms experts on the set safety told me last year guns don't fire themselves i like baldwin for all his caterwauling and crocodile tears pulled the trigger and killed helena Hudson. yeah good job there 10 months later just... article I, I think you're right, though. I don't think he did it on purpose. It wasn't intentional. It, but yet, it, he did it. Like, you know, like, I don't know. What was it? It is manslaughter, right? It falls under that. Yeah, like, well, it's but, absolutely, at the minimum, definition manslaughter. But, yeah. but there's a lot of, like... Without... I, okay, I can't speak to the law, because this is New Mexico law for, at that. But I, the manslaughter law still holds is you did something um, that caused somebody's death, whether you did it intentionally or not, you didn't do due care to prevent it. Yeah. So that like like driving and accidentally killing somebody when you were speeding or something, right? You weren't obeying the law. You weren't taking due care. You crash into somebody um, because you're excessive speed and kill somebody. That's manslaughter. That's that's kind of how the manslaughter works. This is, okay. you know, he didn't take the gun training. He didn't check the gun. He pointed the gun at somebody and he pulled the trigger. Those are all things that that were beyond his due diligence. All things he had control of <clears throat> and didn't take. Yeah. Now, now, like I said, like like we agree that we don't think this was an intentional act. So the murder no. charges and stuff don't really hold. Um, no. He's just an idiot. Like, he's just an idiot that that's above the rules and above everything. Oh, I don't need gun training. Oh, I don't need... I'm Alec Baldwin. Blah, 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 blah. You know, and, and I'm rich, so it doesn't pertain to me. Right? That's, that's his attitude. That's the thing that I that I feel most sorry about is just he's how he's taken the approach of it's me, you know, it's like, have stop, step back. Look at, look at how your action affected people. And see now, now the media is starting to turn on him Cause now you're seeing these articles with the tone that they have. And of course yeah. it totally proper to brag about your happy family life incessantly on Instagram while ignoring your part in destroying a, a young family. And all in yeah, Baldwin's exactly. demented worldview, anyone who thinks he's responsible for the death of a beautiful young wife and mother, her whole life and career ahead of her, must be motiv motivated by animus and greed, or greed, even the widower. See, even now, see this. This is like the whole thing is, is if this happened to anyone else, not only would they probably have been in jail already. But, already yeah it would have been done but they wouldn't have been able to just go across the country and do whatever you want right but no. but any normal person would have just probably locked themselves in their house and not come out right yeah that was the thing is i don't i don't recall seeing any grieving from him really well like, nothing well nothing that wasn't on camera that was totally concocted I agree. Well, that's that's what I mean. Is like nothing that like you can't. I don't. I didn't trust the camera as much because he's an actor. I mean, hello, that's what he gets paid for. But 
I don't I don't know. I just you never saw a true act of grieving yeah. or he never had any remorse type thing. It's just it, it was an accident. He was part of it. But let's get on with our lives. And see, something. that's the real key right there, because if he actually had felt bad, he would have just said, I pulled the trigger, not realize, you know, not thinking you know, not and not and, and assuming it was a dummy round, you know, yeah. I, I, I take my responsibility for this action um, I didn't mean to do it. It was a complete accident. And they probably would have done no jail time, to be honest. Yeah, I don't Even if I he was, know. even if they pressed it's, charges, yeah. at that point, if he had just come out and said, hey, I pulled the trigger. I didn't think about it. I thought it was a dummy round. We were doing this scene. Um, but that's not what he did. He said, oh, I, I didn't have anything to do with it. It definitely wasn't. It was her fault or her fault or his yeah. fault. It was not definitely not my fault, you know. Yeah. And so now, now you cause this animosity, and you've caused all this extra pursuit of of the truth by the FBI and all these other people, you know, investigating this thing, and just instead of just taking the responsibility and like, oh my god, and just I, owning up, yeah, yeah, exactly. just, like. Yes, it's a horrible thing. Yes, you accidentally killed somebody, but you probably wouldn't have done any jail time and you would have got sued in civil court, but that's just money, right? To him, yeah, nothing. <laughs> but, but now, now, but yeah. now I don't, like, uh, here's the thing is, I don't, because of the way he's tried to avoid responsibility, I don't see any mm -hmm. other recourse but for him to do jail time. Like three to five years yeah. jail time. Can you imagine what movies we're gonna have coming out from him in four years from now? I don't. I don't know that. He's I, gonna go into jail. He's gonna be like, "Oh, I'm gonna do a documentary about my life." Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna. Yeah. I mean, and here's the thing: is how is Alec Baldwin not canceled? In cancel culture, like you tweet, oh, I don't know. you tweet something. You know, that rubs people the wrong way and you get canceled. This guy freaking kills somebody and, like, it's just, eh. Still hasn't been canceled, yeah. I don't know. Like, how did they just it's, not it's remove crazy. him from Twitter or Instagram or anything and just be like, yeah, you can't talk about this, dude. You just, you can't, you can't talk about it. But no, they just yeah. let him on there. Yeah. But heaven forbid you, you know, you, you uh vote red and get banned at banned off instagram or or twitter just for <laughs> yeah it's so just weird. for like, for tweeting a meme it. you know don't tweet a meme you get banned but heaven yeah. forbid you accidentally kill somebody and it's okay yeah i don't i don't know i feel i feel bad for the family i feel bad you know in a way i'm frustrated with alec with how he's drawn it out you know, now that we're kind of coming to the end, but I'm like, yeah, it was like, it's almost a year. We're well, now but like see, that's the thing months. is this, this isn't even close to coming to the end. Oh no. Because just think, just think the only next part of this that we're waiting for is the actual court. charges. Yeah. Right. Then the court case is going to be a, a year from now at, at minimum. At least. Right. Oh, yeah. And I so mean, this is just, uh, Instead of him just coming forward and letting that family move on, like, yeah, he's just drawn this out. Him. Yeah, I don't know. It's, yeah, I feel, yeah, like I said, frustrated. Sorry for the family, frustrated at Alec for what he's done. And who knows who else has this has been this messed up, you know? Like, we haven't even heard from the crew, like, who was there next to him, you know? Like, yeah. all of that other stuff, like, it, it, there's. All their friends like it, it's messed up a lot of people i'm sure but yeah it's just, we just haven't even heard not a good not a good situation and and the fact that it's taken this long to get nowhere to get where we were right nowhere. after it happened like it's just i don't understand i don't understand how this has taken so long like it, i really don't yeah. yeah i don't know it's crazy all right Something well it makes it simple 
hopefully Al, hopefully Alec Baldwin is is getting what's coming to him sooner than later and hopefully after that the family can move on and start to grieve and put this behind them but um huh. it's just this, this, her thing. kid is going to be like uh, driving by the time this is done like and I swear he's only 8 but was well, that's the thing is this could get but, drug out even longer. He's got the money to drag oh, yeah. it out, so he does. Yeah. And and uh, yeah, it's I don't know. We'll see where it goes from here, but it's good to see that at least something is moving forward now. That was something we asked. Well, you know, here's the thing. Ago. If if it took the FBI ten months to get where we were two weeks ago, it this might this might take another five happened. years at this point. <laughs> and this this just goes to show government hard at work well this goes to shows that that how much that somebody with money and privilege that alec baldwin has right yeah because do you think if it was me that the fbi would have been checking the gun no the new mexico police would have been like hey whatever dude nice yeah. story war duck but that's not gonna cut it you're going to jail bud you know it'd have been like two weeks but no, we're 10 months later, and the FBI has just come to the conclusion that, hmm, Alec Baldwin must have pulled the trigger. And that's the other thing, too. Is, yeah, you're right. FBI getting involved? Why Why is the FBI even involved? I don't know. That's a whole other topic in and of itself. But just, just say, why, why isn't it just New Mexico? Yeah. Isn't it their jurisdiction? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> All right, with that, though, we're out of here. Let us know in the comments what you think. Uh, is, Al is Alec Baldwin ever going to get his? But uh, all right, with that, we are out of here. I will only tell. <laughs> we'll see you next time, everyone. Be safe out there. We'll talk to you later.